Well, spring is a time of rebirth, old becoming new again. One man has taken that idea to heart. His work, his passion, is taking old things and making them into something unique and beautiful. He works without a plan. It basically comes from in my mind. Creating the visions. It's what I was meant to do. He sees the beauty in what others have thrown away. All this was all in pieces, so I brought it in. Nice vintage curves, because I was always like building and ripping things apart. Mark Neal is affectionately called the antique butcher. Taking a piece of this and that. Sort of make it look like an old general storefront. To create. Because I'll take anything and chop it up. But the things that I create out of it are, you know, they're one of a kind. Like this piece of furniture, custom made with Neil's signature touch. Most of my furniture that I do is sort of like a primitive style thing. That's one of my favorites. And like the molding and the trim was not on the cupboard either. We put the trim on there, which is an old antique trim from an old house. These are all the items that I use and pick from. A look around his workshop, and it's a sea of stuff. This is an old antique wheelchair. And he sees the potential in it all. I use old wood, metal, lighting, and put an Edison bulb in it. It's just things that I see. In it. Like a jigsaw puzzle, he puts the pieces together. Like a door, I could come down here and rip this door off and reuse it on something. Whatever I visualized, I put the windows in. A big pile of rusty metal, I like to dig through it. And... He grabs and takes and adds. There we go. Until a finished product. This is called a paper floor. In his mind, is complete. What we have here is a phone booth. And he has a way of just absolutely putting things together that you would never think of. And these brackets here are off of an old mirror. This was old mesh. I think it was out of an old freezer. It was a uh, table lamp, cut the top off, and then hung it upside down. You know, a lot of people think of uh, things as junk. This is from an Electrolux sweeper. But Mark sees it as a piece of art. I don't know if you would call it art or whatever. It's just, I don't know, things come from the heart. The shop is something where I'm pretty much at peace all the time. I'm happy when I'm uh, doing my work.